I was just 45 minutes late when the store opened for selling the iPhone 16, which meant I had to wait another week and a bit after everybody else had got theirs. Well, it's finally here. Let's unbox it. Hey everyone, Mark from The Spark here. Just a short video, really, just to unbox this so you can share my pleasure of having a new shiny device. There are loads of great videos out there that unbox this, go into some of its technical specifications, but I just thought it'd be a really interesting thing for me and you to do together. Okay, so, um, apparently everything's kind of eco-friendly, the box and everything like that. Oh, there we go. There's just something so lovely about opening up shiny new tech. Now, if you're wondering, uh, I do have a 15, iPhone 15 Pro Max as my previous phone, and this is an iPhone 16 Pro Max. And yet, yeah, I'm sure you've listened to a lot and watched a lot of the videos that say there's not that much difference between them, and it's probably not worth most people um, upgrading. And I would probably agree with that. I think that's entirely sensible. The iPhone 15 Pro Max is a brilliant phone and I've actually never had an issue with overheating, which a lot of people apparently have. But I do use my iPhone as, in fact, I've got two iPhones, an iPhone mini, 13 mini, as well as this one. And I do use them up until recently when I've started using the Osmo Pocket 3, um, but I still do use them for a lot of my videos, uh, a lot of photography. And so, I think if you're someone like me, a creative who uses these things for more than just telephone calls and browsing the web, but actually really does utilize that camera and all the new features that this thing has got, I think it is worth the upgrade. Okay, so there we are, it's lovely. And I, I got the same titanium as I did on this one. I'm gonna take the back off, excuse me. I've got, got a case on this. Um, there you go, it's the same titanium. Uh, color, their natural titanium, I think they call it. Oh, look at that. So nice. So lovely. Compare the size in a moment when you get in the box. Um, just a, a cable and a SIM injection tool. There we go. And that's it. And as you, again, probably might be aware, no stickers in the box. They got rid of the stickers, although apparently you can request them. Uh, in store if you really do want an Apple sticker. By the way, this is uh, like a braided cable, so really nice. So it won't tangle um, and will just, just look better. I think braided cable look better. Okay, here we go. There we are. All right, well, let's have a look at these two phones side by side. Really, this is the iPhone 15. Not really any difference that I'm seeing on the face of it. iPhone 16 Pro Max. Ah, okay. Well, actually, there is. And I knew that one was slightly bigger than the other, actually. If I come back here a little bit, you can see that is a little bit bigger. There you go. I'll match the bottoms up at the top there. A little bit bigger and apparently the bezels around the edge here are quite a bit slimmer on this one so let's get the thing switched on for the first time um, and we'll uh, we'll check out those bezels and see if they are dramatically thinner noticeably thinner a little bit thinner you know <laughs> there we go I mean, how does it feel weight wise that's probably about the same okay so uh, the other thing I uh, reason I bought this as well it wasn't just for the the kind of slightly better camera setup because I think it's a 48 megapixel telephoto lens now as well as the main camera uh, which this one doesn't have I did want it for this fancy new button here where you slide things up and down to take pictures again I'll do a more in-depth review in a few weeks and I've played around with this and I'll go into all those features okay let's check this out hmm yeah the bezels are noticeably thinner there we go you see? What do you reckon? Hmm, yeah. Definitely. Okay, and Dynamic Island is the same. Um, and the other thing as well, because you, I use my phone as uh, my, my camera, uh, video camera, um, I think it has about four hours, three or four hours more uh, projected battery life as well. So 6.9 inch on the new one, 6.7 inch display on the old one. 
Everything else pretty much the same. Obviously it's got the A18 Pro chip in here compared to this, which is the A17 uh, Pro chip. So it should be a little smidgen faster as well. A little bit snappier. Yeah, and you've got that funky Dolby Vision up to 4K at 120 frames per second. So you should be able to capture some real great slow-mo shots on this in some quite awesome detail. So I look forward to checking that out as well. So like I said, my main reasons for buying this, um, better battery, better camera setup. Looking forward to this new Fajangle thing here to use the camera control and that slow-mo stuff really intrigues me as well okay so that's it that's the two phones here i will do a more in-depth review in a couple of weeks after i've played around with this but if you forgive me i just need to go put all my details in and swap everything around okay until the next video why don't you go check out this one youtube thinks that you'll particularly enjoy this video uh, and i'll see you very soon